What's up, twat muffins? I'm McStud. And I'm Mrs. McStud. New shirt. Still no shower. That's your own fucking <laughs> problem because there is hot water. Yeah, right I kept looking at that bathtub last night. And a shower yeah. curtain and the whole nine yards. Well, I was just going to go in the bathtub because I don't want to move all that shit up to the downstairs bathroom for all that. So it's like, I you just. Need to quit being plus, a plus, I just want to sit down. I'm tired. I'm tired. My body's sore. Uh, it's Thursday? Yeah. Thursday, throat pounding Thursday. That's right, motherfuckers. Um, and I got Miss McStud a special treat for tonight's video. A motherfucking 24 ounce Mickey. These damn dogs. You know what that means? The kids aren't here. That's right. You know what that means? Woo! Tang. Ric Flair. Where did I go? Woo! I believe I got that from, uh, um, my uh, buddy on my friends list that gave, made us the shirts. Oh. Or the, 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 the uh, shoot your local pedophile. Yeah. Yeah, he had he sent some stickers in the package. I just saw it and I was like, I was gonna, I was gonna use it before and I forgot about him. Well, I'm drenching. I'm Woo! That's right. It's a little warm up here. Or is it just me? Oh, me. Mrs. McStubb was kind enough to pick me up the last three Colt 45s from the liquor store in the city where she works. And how was it getting to the liquor store? It sucked. Why is that? And you know what? They did the, um, they redid the median. Uh-huh. They did it wrong. And they had to redo it. Oh my God. That whole road's a mess anyways. Because that's what the guy at the liquor store was telling the, a dude in front of me. Yeah. What, what am I? What am I? A chimp? Are you picking bugs out of me and eating them? No. Oh. You what? got a piece of dust in your hand. Probably. Buster, these clothes are clean. You don't care. Oh God, look, he sees your hair. Oh my God, that ain't my hair. Oh, that bitch left her hair here. I didn't know the Sandra was bald. Oh my God, hood red ass bitch. That's, what do you call that, tumble weave? Mm, that's good, but I prefer in glass. Well, I just happened to see it and that was all I had. They did it. Hey, what are... He's trying to... <laughs> oh my goodness, we're being attacked by the pups. Hey, oh, he's got the raccoon. <laughs> Can I just take a drink, boys? Oh. <laughs> so, daughter has a stuffed raccoon here. And I throw it in this bag over here. And Malachi just grabs it and runs down the hall with the motherfucker. Well, my mom swears I need a cat. Oh, Why do you guys insist on playing with socks? Huh? My mom swears I need a cat, but I swear that if they see a, a mouse, mm -hmm. they will let us know. I'm sure. They might even kill it. They might. Oh, boy. Oh, did you pack my daughter any jeans? Uh, four pair. These are her favorite ones. I don't know. I just packed four pair. What, she was asleep. Uh, they're all in dirty laundry. I washed them all. Oh, so she's a runway scent? Uh-huh. And her white pair of jeans. I packed two. Did you pack any shorts? She, yes, I got her. All I saw was her black pair of shorts. Yeah, she's got Nike ones in there. And I, and I, grabbed, I packed her Nike ones for like nighttime and she mm -hmm. likes to wear them during the day. Um, I got him shorts. So you did good. I, I hope so. Oh, it's a whole mess. I was literally up all night doing laundry um, and watching movies and drinking. <coughs> and I was asleep all night. Yeah. That sleep. Mancino's was really good, but it wasn't really good for me this morning. Oh, you felt it this morning? I definitely felt it this morning. And diarrhea too. Oh, no. Can I see? Mm -mm. Um, so we had the Mancinos last night. Like which... I got a real, like, I barely made it to work. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Damn. Well, you woke me up at 7.10, not realizing that took me 43 minutes to get to work. Sorry. I got there at 8.02. Close. Yeah. My bad. Oh, uh, yeah, we had the Mancinos, and I got the whole grinder, which is, uh, a half is like two halves of a, <coughs> a sub, essentially, or six inches each. I think they're a little longer than six inches. Um, yeah. And then mine was a full foot long, which is over a foot long. The problem is... Go ahead. No. You don't want to hear about this diarrhea shit. No, go ahead. No, you were telling me about the diarrhea. Weren't you? Yeah, I was yeah. going to say something. Yeah. But I forgot that the Mancino sauce, uh -huh. pizza sauce, gives me the runs. Really? It always has. Oh, that sucks. That's why I don't like... I can't eat the pizza. Damn, that's the, that's good shit too. Yeah, I know. Oh I fuck, it. that's like the, there's a couple pizzas we got from Myers. 
Am I? Yeah, they're amazing. Yeah. And you just can't eat them. That sucks. Hate it when we find an amazing pizza that's good and then she eats it and then she suffered all night <laughs> afterwards. It sucks a huge bag of dicks. So obviously I don't get the pizza grinder. I can't remember what the fuck I get, but it's not the pizza. I think it might be the taco. Yes, you did used to get the taco. I think um, it was that. And I think you've gotten the chicken one before. It's like fajita chicken with looks like mozzarella cheese and I think they put onions and something else on it. Maybe peppers. I only I get mine just chicken and cheese. <clears throat> I bet you do. Yes, I <laughs> fucking Chinese chicken nuggets. That's right. I like them. Yeah, I had the whole foot long and I ate half of it. No, I was full. And I was like, I'm going to save this other half for later. Boy, I, I, I had a struggle to, to wait to eat that later because I was wanting it all fucking night. So the second one, which I made the mistake of not doing the first time, I took it apart and I put extra ranch on it with the sriracha. Should... That's the shit. Well, you won't be eating that for a little while because that was a $60 meal. And I don't like to spend that much money. Well, see, and that wasn't just for our sandwich. That was for the whole family. Yeah. So it wasn't like we just paid 60 bucks for two sandwiches. Mm -mm. So don't 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 get it twisted, motherfuckers. Hey, what is this little place up here? B Bubba Jones? Yeah. Looks like it sells the same shit it's always had under different names. Like the cheesesteaks like and the sandwiches cheese steak? and okay. tenderloins and shit. Because the roommate was asking. I was like, oh, fuck, I don't know. Yeah, I think they sell the same kind of shit. It looks like it. Okay. Um, Because I think whatever name it was when we moved away from here... It still said the best cheesesteak in town on it. Yeah. And it still has a sign up there. It's a new place. Best cheesesteaks in town. Oh, okay. Probably because it's the only place that sells cheesesteaks in town. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can't call yourself the best when you're the only one that makes them. In so, town. in Greenfield, mm -hmm. there was a fucking food truck today there. Really? And it was um, pit pork or pork pit or something like that. So it must have been like pulled pork uh -huh. <coughs> sandwiches, but I just thought it was interesting because I've never seen a food truck right before you go in the entrance at Walmart. Yeah, that's a random spot. Yeah. You should see those up there like on Shadeland and shit when you worked up there. Mm -hmm. I had all kinds of them. They had the, the Mexican food trucks. They had the chicken. They had that, uh, remember that, that barbecue one that had the pig on it? Mm-hmm. They were driving down the road every once in a while. They had all kinds of shit up there. Never had anything from that, but I would like... Oh, I tagged you on a post on Facebook, too. Did you? On my McStud account? Chad Acorn. Huh. Did... Is that uh, Batman, one of my Facebook friends, got pictures of him. Oh, the one we seen yesterday? Yep. And oh. he's standing on the car, like, posing. And I guess somebody said he does it because he likes to see the kids smile. Well, that's pretty cool. So he goes around, like, like to Richmond and... That reminds me. So we got that guy, which I've never seen. Maybe from Kokomo, apparently. That's probably why. But you know who I have not seen since we've been back in town? Even though it's been a few days? Mr. Uh, the Blues Brother guy. He dresses up like the Blues Brothers. Has that little cop car. Remember he was in the parade that one year? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember the first time I saw him was when I worked night shift over at Crown. Mm -hmm. I was coming into work, and I stopped at that little marathon down here on 18th. Across from Speedway. And he was in there. I was like, this dude looks exactly like one of the Blues Brothers. He's wearing the glasses. He had the, the jacket. Yeah. And shit. I'm like, and he had the sideburns. Looked like, uh, looked like Belushi from the Blues Brothers. And, uh, yeah, but he, uh, we got a Blues Brother here in town, which is cool. Um, man, my mind just went wacky again. <coughs> uh, how, how was your day, Miss McStud? Um, it's like the bag of dicks. It's like the bag of dicks. Um, and I'm anxious to kind of see because they're having a meeting tomorrow morning. Hmm? Not emailing what payrolls I wanted. And I told them I never wanted to fucking process another payroll a day in my life. Understandable. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see. We shall see. Um, we are currently kidless right now until Monday. Yep. Monday, the kids went down for a wedding in Tennessee with your family. Um we were supposed to go, but we just got so much shit here to do. And I and don't, I don't really feel good. And I, I think it's just bronchitis or walking pneumonia, but both, <laughs> you know, can be contagious. And we just don't really have the extra cash to go right now either. So we just chilling at home and we got a lot of unpacking. Is that what you're doing tonight? Yeah. Painting, unpacking, sucking dick. I'm going to paint and unpack. Oh, are you going to uh, mop the floors? No. Why? Cause they're not cleared, cleaned <laughs> out enough. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, we have a creepy dude that's been hanging out over here at the neighbors across the street. Don't know what he was doing. <clears throat> Did he talk to you? No. Oh. 
Do you want to see that thing? He just kind of stared at me when I got out. Do you want to see that poontang? But he probably thought I was weird because I sat there and fucking smoked. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Shit. Uh, sometimes you gotta have that last cigarette before you come in the house. After a long day of work. Right. You know what I mean? Um, so, but, so it's throat pound Thursday, which means tomorrow is... Fuck hard Friday. Michael Bolton Friday. <laughs> Damn it. And, it. and for us, it's fuck stick Friday. Michael Bolton slash fuck stick Friday. <coughs> but Michael Bolton takes the top. That's why he's first in the, the title. No. Because Michael Bolton is amazing. Woo! Oof. What? Can you give us a woo? No. Come on, do it. That's loud. You're too yeah, loud. Do it, do it. Give us a good woo. <clears throat> you have so much energy. I Not really. Do it for the fans. No. Yeah, give them a woo. Stop! <laughs> Is it cold? No, Malachi! He's busy with the raccoon. No, he's busy in our bedroom getting in shit. Is he back in there? I think so. <coughs> oh, I didn't see him run back in there. Did he have the raccoon? Buster, where's your friend? He's like, you are my friends. Hey, Butter. Butters. He needs to quit by my dog's neck. <laughs> they pups. Yeah. They learning. Aren't you, Buster? Oh, look at that butt. Buster got an ass on him. Oof. Buster's got a fat ass. That's nice. What, dude, dude, you're going to knock shit over. You don't care, that, do you? It's going to fall on you, then you're going to be, like, scared to death for a day. Here he goes. <clears throat> Good Lord. You hear him in there? Yep. I, I, don't know. I think I hear Raymond coming up. Mm. Yeah. I say so oh. he's okay because he's sneak or doing something wrong. Oh. Buster's got oh a toy. God, you gotta get me out of this shit. Do you want a group text? No, she got me in Snapchat somehow. Oh fuck. I can do that here. I wanna make sure that she has a password or whatnot. I can just turn the notifications off. Yeah. Here we go. This is what happens. Mrs. McStud gets a lot of these bullshit notifications. And she's you're always on Snapchat. I'm what? You're always on Snapchat. For me? Yeah. No, I'm not. Why? I don't know how to use it. You don't know how to use it? Nope. <coughs> I don't either, really. And I don't care to. The only thing I know how to do on Snapchat is to use the filters, and sometimes I have a hard time getting those to pull up for me. Well, I do have an account in Snapchat called Big Booty Something, because <laughs> my daughter made it. Hey, you know what sucks? Almost, like, since I rarely even get on there to use the filters, if I'm feeling like I want to do something stupid on it, I always have to Google how to get to the Snapchat filters. Oh, God. Yeah, that, that's old man shit right there. You know, when I was younger, I, I know how to do it, but I, I don't know how to do it any like that shit no more. Um, so what's your plans for Michael Bolton Friday? You gonna sing? I'm gonna unpack. You gonna sit out on the porch and sing Michael Bolton songs? No. Why? That's ridiculous. That is not ridiculous. Mm. I thought there was something on the news. Hold on. Oh, the the 500 or on, on a website, the Indy 500 or whatever. Yeah. They got these shirts they're selling. It's the uh, piss trough. Oh, I will be there. But you know, I guess they have piss troughs there? No. Yeah, well, yeah, it's a picture of that. Uh-huh. For the Indy 500. Pits. No, piss. Where you pee, all the dudes have to stand shoulder to shoulder oh. and piss in that fucking long bucket thing that I can't do. Mm -hmm. That's too that's too close for comfort for me to piss. Like, if there's a piss trough, I will go to the stall. Um. I don't like to be shoulder to shoulder with some dude holding my dick. What? I will be at the track. Will you? Yes. And we get food and beverage, but no alcohol. What the fuck? I said I've never been at the track fucking sober. <laughs> Period. <laughs> like, who does that? Well, you're about to. <coughs> That's what my coworker said. Oh, I my. said, shit. I'm going to put that flask in fucking Stacy's car, too. You know what? You need that baby doll that you can put liquor in. I mean, it's like, like you're giving it a kiss and you can drink the liquor from the head. Make you a nice mixed drink, put in there with some ice. I was going to put one in Stacey's car. Oh. I'm trying to get her to make me a... Hippie juice. Hippie juice. What was that again? I remember you told me about oh, that. Oh, God, I can't remember now. All I know is she uses a lot of that Minute Maid shit, and it's been a dollar at, at a Kroger. So she's bought like 13 or 14 containers of it. Oh, yuck. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why'd you do that? What? Like my cigarette. That's a turd. I need a cigarette. Jesus. Oh. But they're doing away with menthol. Yeah, it's going to take years for that to even work. Oh, that guy looks familiar. Oh. Oh. Like smoking oh, no, no, a straight no, no, no. turd. Oh. 
And then you guys are like, that's why you shouldn't smoke. And I say, I can't, I can't, I can't smoke a big turd. Not, I'm not like Cheech and Chong smoking dog shit. Right? Oof. You ever smoke dog shit? No. Why? Because your dog ate your Maui Waui? The what? The dog ate your Maui Waui? No. No? So I think we're going to stay up all night. Okay. I think we're going to go get breakfast. Ooh. Go to my parents' house. Mm-hmm. Then we're going to come home and go to sleep. Okay. That sounds like a plan. I like that plan. Dude, you're learning the wrong things. Buster. Buster, come here, Bobby. Buster. Buster. Come here, Bobby. Come oh. on. Let me quit that shit. I'm going to take you out there and let you fucking run. <laughs> Actually, the dogs might not like that. Yeah. What do you mean? They're fucking old and they're out setting their ways. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe why you're ready to come back in the house. But we could even go, like, to... Is Bob Evans open? Mm-hmm. We could even go to Bob Evans. We haven't done that in... I get paid tomorrow. We haven't done that in... Years. Eight years? Yeah. Maybe? Something like that? Been yeah, a long Bob time. Bob Evans, get breakfast. I see, we always went there for, like, uh, lunch or dinner. We never actually went there early in the morning. No. Uh-uh. That's good shit. Um, what's happening this weekend in sports? Uh, what do you want me to look at? ESPN. I don't really know if there's anything going on this weekend in sports. Well, I don't know if there's any boxing matches or UFC. There's supposed to be, I think. I read something. UFC is having fights every Saturday, but I don't know if that's including this Saturday or not. And if it is, I don't know who the fuck it is. Oh, you only bought one Red Bull, though, didn't you? No, that was, I had two when you drank uh, the other one yesterday. Or the day before when we had the Zionses. No, I mean, you didn't buy any extras for tonight. No, I didn't. Okay. Actually, I hadn't been nowhere since Buster, since I woke up. Except with you to your parents. And I did go to the gas station. <laughs> oh, yes, I had to go to the gas station. Because I needed a Red Bull. So I'm in there, and I found these cool, uh, I don't know if you guys ever had those hot fries. They have, like, a, what, a Andy Caps hot fries or some shit? Mm -hmm. And then they got, uh... The yellow bag hot fries. I think they got Chester Cheeto hot fries or something. Now they got Slim Jim hot fries. They have actually hot and mild hot fries. Oh, nice. Yeah, I got us two bags, like a bag of hot each, which is still in the car. Uh, but I'm sitting there waiting to check out, and this old lady's up there talking about how she wants to go down to Burger King and get that uh, ba double bacon bourbon sauce burger. And talking about the onions on it, the fried onion, the crispy onions strips on it and shit. Who? Some old lady in front of me. I'm like, just buy your shit and leave. <clears throat> and on top of that, the fucking cashier was talking of his shit, so I'm like... MMA. Uh, fuck me in the goat ass. Oh, he's trying to get his toy. Oh, I think I just gave everyone a crotch shot. May 7th. May 7th. That's tomorrow, isn't it? That's tonight. Tonight? No, that's tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, 5... 30 p.m. Bellator 258. Oh. Archuleta versus Pata Petitas? Petitas? I don't know. I don't think they hear that on TV. Um, and then May 8th, Saturday, ESPN, UFC Fight Night, Rodriguez versus Watterson. Okay, that's women. From Las Vegas. Click that one. Let's see who's on the card. I don't really care for those two fighters. Let's <coughs> see. Uh, Anthony Pettis' brother. Uh, oh, I clicked the wrong one. That's tomorrow. Oh, that's Bellator. Hold on. <laughs> that's Anthony Pettis on Bellator now. All right, yeah, they don't so Rami. Yay. We, hey, that's worth the watch right there. Just for that fight. Yeah. Uh, um, that's Marino. Magni. I uh, don't like any of them. Oh, Hill. That's, that's a bitch. Yeah, isn't that the bitch that fucks people up? Not really. She, she, I, found her very, else. I found her to be very unexciting as a fighter. Uh, that's about it. Donald Donald, though. I like that. Um, oh, yeah, because he was supposed to fight Diego Sanchez. Mm -hmm. But Sanchez is now released from the UFC. Uh, so that he that's his replacement fighter. Whoever Buster! Donald's fighting. Chew um, on your fucking toy. Look at him. He's like, look at my asshole. I'd like, I need to go to Walmart tomorrow, too. Oh, boy. What do you need at Walmart? Curtains. Beef curtains? <coughs> really? What? 
I don't know if you caught it earlier. I told you to open your legs and fly. I didn't even hear that. Or I said, spread your legs and fly, baby. Oh, I heard that. You're just being a smart ass. I'm not. Buster, I was not being a smart ass. I was being legitimate. I'm a sincere smart ass. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, I have very, there's meaning in my voice. And love and affection and tenderness. Am I tender? No. Am I Luke Bryan tender? No. Damn. It's hard to be Luke Bryan tender. But, but speaking of Luke Bryan, I mean, I'm just saying, he has probably one of the first concerts that's going to be in Indiana after COVID started, which is August 20th. Mm-hmm. And you quit acting like you're ignoring me because he's got a fine ass. Does he? Yes, he, he ain't does. got no ass. He's just tall. Well, and then fucking uh, tight-ass cowboy pants. It's tight. Okie dokie. Like, hey. Oh, God. You I might those, have to squeeze in a small place. One of those women that goes to the concert just to watch his ass. Isn't there anything better on? Like, don't they have, like, uh, maybe Justin Bieber? Or uh, Hanson? No. Or uh, what about a... Uh, what about Steel Panther? Oof. No Steel Panther? No. You, you probably enjoy a Steel Panther concert, though. Yeah, I would. Uh, yeah, so would I. <clears throat> um, damn. Yeah. It's been a day. Well, it's been a night for me, so this is kind of like my morning. It's my, my breakfast, Colt 45. Yeet? Yeet? No, don't say yeet. Jesus Christ. Mr. McStead just said yeet. <sighs> He'd be polishing his bowls. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> wow, that's some good ball polishing right there. <coughs> I seen he uh, completed some woodworking today. Did he? This morning. Hey, Facebook updated. Did you notice? I haven't updated mine yet. Okay, so if you like something, mm -hmm. it's like this. What? It's like a thumbs, little pink thumbs up thing. What the fuck? What's that for? Is that for like a... I don't fucking know. No, breast cancer. Canther. It's October. That's my, yeah, that's my Mike Tyson voice again. <laughs> Damn lisp. <laughs> breast breast cancer. Tampa. Oh my God. I can't even fake that shit either. That's fucking legitimately real. I need to get that ladder out of the living room. Yeah. Because I need to stand on it. <sighs> Boy, that one's like behind everything too. I'm going to be paying. Mm. What are you painting? The cabinets. Tonight, tomorrow I'm gonna paint that pink room. Mm, the pink room. Is that where the magic happens in the pink room? No. Oh. Oh. Uh, what? Did you hit me for? I just wanted to. Damn! Domestic violence on video. You guys witness it firsthand. I have video proof. What? That's gonna bruise. Shut the fuck up already. Ow. Oh, my and skin I remember hurts. your skin hurts. I probably got bruises there. You probably do, really. Well, hey, boys. <laughs> y'all oh, want to say look. hi? <laughs> Jesus. You, hey, y'all want to say hi? Nope. Here's Malachi. He wants to say hi. Say hi. Look at that. Hi, everybody. Jesus, baby. Yeah, that's not for me. That's, that's from her moving. Dang. You should see my legs. Oh, okay. Let's see him. Let's show everybody. No. Oh. All right, buddy. There you go. There you go. There you I go. can't wear yeah. shorts because you think my arms are bad. <laughs> I haven't seen nothing. Buster wants to say hi. Oh, you're standing uh, on my balls. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now is he fat? <laughs> <laughs> he's not fat. Look, it's not a fat dog. He's, Buster's a pretty boy. He's big boned. Buster is a pretty boy. It's like, or, or we could call him Frank. Tell look, me. Look at his triple G. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me he doesn't look like Frank from Men in Black. <laughs> give, him, give him the stare. I swear to God, I'm gonna shit my pants when he starts talking one day. he would be like an alien. Like, hey, what's up? Eef. Holy shit. Buster can talk. 24 minutes. 24 minutes, that's right. How's that Mickey's going down? Good. Good? Are you glad I got that? Yeah. I didn't even know they had, like, they haven't had them since we've been here. Like I said, I was there in the morning. I wonder if Walmart has Colt 45. Has Colt and Mickey's cans. No, uh, Walmart no, used to carry the Old English. Colt's and Old English, yeah. Yes. That's where it was. Yeah, you could use some Old English. Yeah. Mm, that's the shit. And, and thank, thankfully, Mr. McStud's got me taken care of on 40s. Hey, but I have you two packs of, uh, of vodka shots down there. 
Those nasty ones? We actually did a review on one of these shots. It's a it's a little bag of orange flavored <coughs> vodka brewed or one's orange and one's blue rock. Distilled in Indianapolis and we did a review on it two two year two, three years ago or some shit. It's like a dollar for these little bags. They smelled okay, they taste like rancid ass. Yeah. Like not even cool. I don't and I love blueberry, but that, that orange had no orange flavor whatsoever. It tastes like straight asshole. How do you know what asshole tastes like? I don't know. How do you? Bend over, I'll tell you. Oof. What? No. Um. <laughs> oh. I can't find any really curtains that I like on Amazon, so we're probably going to have to try to go to Walmart. Okay, we can do that. Here. You can have this cigarette that I so politely lit that tastes like a bag of dicks. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Um. So what else is on the agenda, Miss McStead? Uh, just unpacking. I mean, for the video. Oh, I don't know. I looked at the news already. There's nothing much there. Yeah. Um, I thought I had an idea earlier. Did I? I don't know. I don't know either. Because I was probably not home. You know what really sucks? What? I'm telling you, like, I'm wearing these old shoes. Like, they're literally talking to me. Um... <laughs> That's kind of, they're on their last leg. So, but they were like my most comfortable shoes, but they've uh, recently become not so comfortable. So last night we had that tote on the stairway uh -huh. to keep the dogs from trying to come up, which Buster found out of the way. Malachi kind of hopped over and get stuck and he whined. He finally found and a he, way. He found a way. Um, but I had to step over that all last night. Yeah. Went up and down. And I, when I got my left foot, because I put my right foot over, like to stationary or uh -huh. support myself from my back. I feel like I got a fucking bone spur on my big toe. Oh, God. Like when I step on it, it fucking hurts. I think I just need to throw these bitches away and try a different pair of shoes. I forgot your red and black ones from the front porch. Yeah, they're in the car. Um, and there were, well, the box of shoes we have in there, I just felt like a, a <coughs> digging. I, I did a lot of digging today, looking for laundry. Found a few extra things in laundry. Did you? Yeah. Um, in there. I noticed that they. It, we still have laundry in the laundry basket. Yeah, those are all uh, shirts we have to hang. As you can see, I did a load yeah. of hanging shirts, which they're hanging right now. Um, I cleaned our balls deep and chesticle shirt. Buster. I'm going to shower. My parents tomorrow, too. Okay. Buster, that's a broom, dude. Buster's literally trying like to keep Like, their shower is just readily available. That's true. Um, Buster, that's dirty. What are you doing, dude? My kids already said they miss me. I bet they do. I They've been gone. Not even. They they texted me that not even twelve hours after they left. Bless their souls. <laughs> That's good for them to get out of the house, see some scenery. I told my daughter. I said, uh, "You know you're gonna be away from mom for three days." Mm -hmm. And she goes, "Why can I say it that way? You know I miss you." I'm like, but you like to argue with me too. Yeah, and they don't even have the option to like come home. Like they're stuck there for. They They're home. there. Yeah. But, oh, on a side note, mm -hmm. I'm sorry I'm discussing this on video, but okay. we need to discuss mm -hmm. her going to her friends. Okay. Down there. And she texted me her friend, mom's friend's number. Mm -hmm. Her friend's mom's number. So I'm going to call her. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. That's a whole mess in itself. Um, but... I mean, they only met on social media, so what if they like each other and then hate each other in person? Exactly. And they're eight hours away from home. Well, I mean, they would have to go back to mom. Yeah. <clears throat> Will you stop it? Yeah, that's true. That's a whole, uh, whole mess. Uh, goddamn. Um, oh, yeah, I know what I wanted to add off subject. So good old Captain Bailey sent me a, a YouTube comment. I'm talking to you, Captain. Uh, your comment, yeah, you know Captain Bailey, he's the one with the little doll. That dude has that manic little, little doll. Yeah, you, you don't know if I showed it to you. I don't really watch. No, I showed it to you. No, it's, that's on YouTube, and I showed it to you before because he's watched likes our videos and oh. comments. Um, you commented, and I see it on my notifications. I got an email saying I got the comment, but however, when I go to my YouTube, it says I have a comment, but I can't see it. So I responded to your comment about watching one of your videos the other day. 
Um, but yours isn't there and it doesn't show up as a comment that needs approval from me. It's like they just blocked it. That's weird. And he didn't even say nothing bad, which is stupid. Yeah. Um, so and I'm sure that happens a lot on YouTube, which that's completely stupid and I'm sorry, but that's beyond my control. But I did respond to you, buddy. Um, and I know what you said. I just, I, I, I gave you a response. And yours isn't the only comment that does that. I get that time to time. Wait, you quit it, please. Buster. Buster, come here, Bubba. Are you bored? Come here, Bubba. <laughs> Y'all, Bub's not here. Come here, baby. Uh-oh. Come here. Come here. Come here. Give her here with Mama. Come on. Buster. Come on. Give her. Oh, there he comes. Come on. Come on, Get buddy. you a little fat salt Come on. here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Jump. Come on. There you go. Oh. Oh, oh, Come wait. on, Buster. Here comes Malachi. Come on. Come on. Get up there. Come on. Malachi, you're learning your puppy string. Oh, you're saying because of the cigarettes. <laughs> hey, don't bite me. No. <laughs> you little bitch. <laughs> I'm my little bitch. Boy. Boy. Ah, you crazy dogs. Uh, what are you pinching me for? I don't know. Damn, you can... I need my nails done. Okay. Have you figured out where you're going to do that yet? No. Let's place that one at Newcastle with beside me. I really like that place. Is it still there? Yeah. Oh, okay. I saw that. Right beside that tame place I got banned from. Oh, is that the one you got? Oh, yeah, that's not the one. You used to use that other one over down like the road. Papa John's, Papa yeah. Because yeah. I got banned from that one. What? Okay. How, let's discuss the story how Miss McStead got banned. From because that. they put me in a fucking tanning bed the first time. Uh huh. And I, so I got undressed, rubbed my lotion all over me and everything. Uh huh. And uh, the bed didn't work. <clears throat> or they didn't turn on something. I fucking had to get all the way dressed. Go out there and tell them, hey, hey, cut it out. And tell them that the bed didn't fucking work. Mm -hmm. So I had to go to another bed. So they put me in another bed. It was fucking dirty. Oh, oh like <laughs> someone used it? And then, yeah. Oh, that's nasty. So I motherfucking got dressed again and went out there and raised motherfucking hell. Because I had a membership. Like they automatically took money out of my card so I could go mm -hmm. tan. Yeah. Every, whenever I wanted. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. That's it nasty. That's nasty. Who the fuck wants to use a dirty tanning bed? You, you get all sweaty and shit. You're in a tanning bed, and you know, your lotion and shit. Yeah. So it puddles up on the bottom. Oh. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's nasty. What are you doing? <laughs> <Hey. That's> funny. <laughs> Why does he do that? Because he's still puppy. He's still learning how to do it. Come here. Come here. You be good. Get up here. You be good. Hey. Hey. No. Cut it out. Oh. Buster. Come here, buddy. I'm up here. Play. You're a dick. Oh, hey. Hey, baby. <laughs> hey, Malachi. You gotta be good, buddy. What's wrong with the baby? Oh, um, teaching pups. It's fun. What's wrong with the baby? Come here. Oh, my God. Here we go. Now he's got a blanket. Oh. He's pulling a whole blanket through the... <laughs> really, dude. <laughs> really, dude. You just pulled a whole blanket through the hallway. So what he does, he gets he gets mad and he's like, I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> <sighs> he's like a little kid. He, he is a little kid, he's a pup. So Come here, baby. You know, you, you try to teach him and then like a lot of kids do, they do like what do they do? The exact opposite of what you want them to do? Yes. Yes, and that's what he does. And then he pull he just takes to push that extra button. He's like, Okay, I'm not supposed to do that, so I'm gonna do this. So Which, I'm going to do that. And I know I'm not supposed to do it, but I'm gonna make it worse than what it would be if I was just before I was told no. Right. <sighs> Which is, uh, damn. Hey, nice tits. Mm-hmm. You gonna be able to finish that whole thing? I'm going to. Oh, shit. That's my baby right there. Mm. See, you've been saying you needed a beer. How's that for your first one for the night? Amazing. Yeah. Uh, get you a woman that loves malt liquor. Actually, she never even used to like beer. That's my fault. Now she loves beer. She was a Captain Morgan and Vanilla Coke girl. And yeah. tequila, tequila sunrises, <coughs> mixed drinks, strawberry margaritas, or just some kind of fruity flavored drinks. How, how do we get you on beer? I forget what I have you drink. And you're like, PBR. Was PBR the first one? I'm pretty sure that you had PBR in the refrigerator and we were playing caps. Oh, and you need something to drink. I need some light. Because uh. I was drinking those eight percent. <laughs> Kick my fucking ass. Those are those Reds Wickets, right? <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, yes. Yeah. So she's like, my kids have a beer. It's not as extreme as an 8% fucking Wicked's Ale. Or Red's Wicked Ale. 
And uh, it was all downhill from there. <laughs> Boy, and I was like, well, if you like that, you really like this. I think Miller Lite might have been your second one. Yes. Okay. And then she's like, yeah, you're right. And then got her in the Coors Light. And then we hit Sun King up. And I was like, well, you try this one because it's really good. And you're like, and then we we both fell in love with Sun King at yeah. that point. Uh, I really want some Sun King this weekend. Oh, that sounds good. I thought about a road trip. I'm just busting my ass. Mm-hmm. I thought, I, I honestly, I thought about, you know, I know where our growlers are. I thought about a road trip to uh, Fishers. Yeah. To grab us some growlers. We I got just, um, uh, wait a minute. And we got, we got plenty of room in that new fridge. So I can just rearrange the drawers. Uh, yeah. So have some growler room. Right now our, our fridge is the way this, we have we haven't arranged them. We haven't even fucking taken the tape off. Um, we usually have our milk and our you know, pitchers of tea and shit towards the top, in the middle. They're all at the bottom now, which is weird to me. I'm going to um, make tea at my mom's, too. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had an empty, uh, I just dumped the tea out from the house. Oh, that is, show is it stunk. All that tea stunk? Yes. Oh. It was gross. Why? Like, I had to... Okay. Um, why, why did it stink? Have you never had I don't problem? know. Lex had to have a container for to clean out the Ferris cage. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, wait a minute. So I dumped out a gallon of tea and found her a rag. And I had some of the roommate's soap for his neck. Uh -huh. That's all I could had there. Is that mine? Yes. Oh. <laughs> um, Still mourning for so me. So that's what she had. To clean it up, but when I poured it out, it fucking stunk. I'm like, oh my god, that shit was old. I don't you know, know if what? we were buying pop before we moved or what. You know, no, there was one pitcher of tea that she, uh, no, I dumped that out. Because there was one she we, we made, uh -huh. and it tasted like the green tea, like your roommate has. Right. I'm like, what the fuck does it taste like that for? Uh, I don't know if it was a tea bags or what. Um, then I made another picture. I was like, well, I can't take a whole picture of tea in the car. So I just dumped it out and I put the picture in the front. So it's in our sink now. You know, okay. we took all our, uh, our damn hot water that work in our kitchen sink right now. We got hot water, but not in the kitchen. So, uh, we went to her parents and she threw what we had in the dishwasher for the time being. Yep. Which works. Hand wash some. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, Buster, don't go to sleep. Look at the cutie. Can I say cutie patootie on video? What? Really big. He's a cutie patootie. Oh, God. <coughs> that's not okay with you? No. Why? Because that sound, sounds weird. That's one of those words I hate. I think we did a video. Um, oh, that's like that bitch at the fucking prison saying, Toodles! Toodles. Every oh. time I fucking left. Fuck, who said Or she that? come in the office? Judy Newman. Oh. The maintenance secretary. Oh, the, the bitch. Oh, she was a bitch. For real. Oh, Every boy. time she came to the business office, she's like, Toodles! I'm like, Toodles, you're twat! And I'm like the nicest person Why? ever. And I had to go to the maintenance building for shit. But, you know, you really need because you got to go check shit out at the prison from the maintenance place. Boy, if you didn't schedule an appointment or set up a time for supposed to be there, she's like, well, you don't have an appointment. But you ain't doing nothing else. What the fuck you mean? I need a dumb, I'm man. like, what? There, there's I nothing. Her. There's nothing going on in here. There's no line of people. But waiting. I swear, like her and the main supervisor, we're gonna get together. Like they were both single. Oh, the the old boy with the inflatable dick. Handy. <clears throat> yeah, the inflatable dick. Or he, no, he had, to, he had to inject himself to get an erection. Why? He had to put. You didn't know. That? <coughs> he had to. Why did I know about his dick? <sighs> I and guess I thought he told, I thought he told everyone. No, he had to. I didn't ask. He had to use like a needle and inject his dick with shit to get it hard. Uh oh. Yeah. That's weird. Ooh, boy, I can't imagine. You know, at that point, I, I if I have to put a needle on my dick to get an erection, I just don't need one. Well, I guess you better let me fuck up something else then, because that uh, ain't gonna work. Uh, we'll find uh, other methods. Okay. Other than fucking poking my. I. I, I no. Uh, yeah, no, that would not work. <laughs> fuck's sake yeah she was a bitch man and like 
It didn't matter who you were. You can be the nicest person in the world. She's still a bitch to you. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Fucking, I hated that twat. And you're like, hey, you need to run the maintenance to get this. Okay. No big deal. I'll get over there. And like, you get your head chewed off. Well, you didn't call me. Let me know you're coming. I didn't know I need to fucking call you because this is not what I normally do. Right. I was just a fucking officer. I don't fucking have, I don't know people's fucking phone numbers. I don't fucking schedule appointments to get shit. I do it myself. I think I still remember their extension. Probably. 2314 for her and 2315 for him. You know, and if you weren't there for something, then she was really nice. You know? As long as she didn't have to do anything, you're just there. Yeah. Like, she's very nice. But if she had to do something, Jesus fucking Christ. But... Oh, so on a side note, did you see that Baker, Officer Baker? Did you see? Has a new wife? You know who it is? Uh-uh. Mm. It's that, the training lady, the Terry. What? They've been together forever. I didn't know that. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. That's his on his profile picture. Oh, my God. Oh, Baker. He's... It's Terry Lindsay. Ah. Terry Lindsay, the trip officer and yeah. the trained girl. Baker's a funny dude. I liked him. What's his name? Uh... Chester. Baker. Chester Baker, that's right. I like that guy. Yeah. Her. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, I forgot that. It's been so long since I've seen him on my, my And they got engaged. Wow. Yeah, I liked him. He was a... He was I liked a, him too. He was a fun old guy. Yes, And he, he worked was. at a prison. And he was a fun old guy for working at a prison. Yeah. Like, he was very happy about everything. And, uh, you know, before they got together, he'd be, like, talking about how the women were taking all his money. Like, he'd just be buying shit for people and shit. My God! I know. I said, I just sent him a couple times to buy me lunch. <laughs> I was like, I need lunch. So what do you want? Where are you going? I'm talking about the women he's dating. Not the, not, this, he he did that for you. That oh my God! Did. I didn't know that. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> it's like I'm going to lunch. I said I need lunch. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> And he had a very uh, <laughs> dirty sense of humor, too. Which... Especially on my paydays. Like, oh. my paydays were bad. Mm -hmm. Well, there were some officers in there that hook you up, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you always had, because the people that respected what you did it didn't bitch and shit. They hook you up with shit. I only had, like, one person that bitched. But he's my friend now. Like, um, everybody else pretty much was decent for the most part. The payroll didn't look very fun there. It wasn't. Uh -huh. It was not like I tried a lot of shit down. I used, I used to go up with my dog. I was a canine officer. And I go see her, and she's like, "Get that thing away from me!" Because we had to we had to muzzle our dogs inside until we're so they wouldn't. Uh, they, I wouldn't even get in an elevator with one of them motherfuckers. They were I'm aggression dogs, and <clears throat> and uh, my supervisor had this dog the first time. We got her from the sheriff's department uh, up towards Fort Wayne, I believe. And uh, she's very well trained, but she kept biting the handlers, so we get her. And our supervisor had the dog for a while, and then he had to go to uh, detection, uh, tobacco, and I had the aggression, so I got to take her. So one day, I wasn't supposed to take her yet, but I was like, well, I need to get to know her. So I got, boy, that was an, some intimidating shit, because she was a mean bitch. Um, so I got in her cage, I got her hooked up on a leash and shit, take her out to the yard. Boy, she was hard-headed. So we were on the yard the first time I had her. And then she was one, we had to, <coughs> me and her had to come, and the fucked up thing is her name is Karma. <coughs> and Karma would literally bite you in the ass. And you still look okay. Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, <coughs> so we had to, she, she'd be trying to, like, not listen. And we had to, we had so, we had a, a, a coming to Jesus moment. And that first day, she'd be, like, nipping at my hand and shit. I'm like, nope. So, I, like, I put that muzzle back on her, walked her back out. Oh, that's right. And uh, eventually, we got a really good, uh, you know, um, Really good bond because everyone was scared to her. So what I would do was I'd have dog treats. And we got to the point where I could put a dog treat in my mouth, and she'd come up and take it from my mouth, and she she give me kisses on the yard and shit. But like two seconds later, if someone stepped on that motherfucking grass, she was she was like, "You ain't coming up in this motherfucker." Like we'd be twenty feet away, you step in that grass, she was fucking going off. <laughs> like that's my girl right there. You stay the fuck over there. And she could run. Oh my god! And she still listened to uh, my supervisor sometimes. We'll be doing training. Uh huh. And he would have the, the bite sleeve on. So we were doing off leash shit, and I'd send her to bite him, and he would stop her <coughs> mid, mid, mid bite, mid run, mid run. Okay. He's like, Karma, stop. And she stopped, and he's like, uh, I forget what we used to 
the attack, but he pointed at me and told him to attack. I'm like, ah! And she comes running after me. So I had to run and jump on the fucking, uh, the kennel fence. I was like, you asshole, you can't do that because she likes us both and then she doesn't know. Like, you just confused her ass. Like, I'm a handler now, not you. I'm like, she will tore my ass up. Oh my god. She, oh boy, she was a Dutch Shepherd too. She looked like the dog from uh, Resident Evil. It was those zombie dogs. Look at my baby. But her mom's not going to bed tonight. Nope. Mom's not going to bed. Oh, he looks so cute. <laughs> He looks sad. Oh, he always looks sick. He's a bug. Buster, you can go down and lay Mama's bed. You want to lay in Mama's bed? <laughs> he's a cutie. He's a, even when Buster's happy, he looks sad. <laughs> Buster's a good boy. Yes, he is. But our roommate, I always said I, I said we need to get him a tutu, like a ballerina, because our roommate trained him. When he gets a treat, he'll stand on his hind legs and he will twirl around like a fucking ballerina to get the treat. <laughs> the cutest shit. That's about the only thing he really knows. Right, baby. Hey. <laughs> hey. Damn, 46 minutes. This is a long video. He's a pretty boy. He's a pretty boy. Oh, he's like my mm -hmm. pug snort. <laughs> Anyways, motherfuckers, thanks for watching this long ass video. We had a good time and some stuff. Needed that. Yeah. And now we got a long night of uh, busyness. Yes. Sounds fun, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm McStud. And this is McStud. <clears throat> we'll catch you bitches tomorrow for a sloppy titty. Oh, tomorrow Friday, isn't it? Friday. Not used to be you being off for a three-day weekend. <clears throat> so we'll see you for Michael Bolton Friday. Uh, Fuck her first. Michael Bolton.